we have triangle OAB, which I've pasted out here on the right-hand side. We're told the vectors A and B, so the vector A goes from O to A, and the vector B goes from O to B. And then we're also told that C is the midpoint of OA, so this is in a one-to-one -one ratio. O to C and C to A are the same length. And D splits these two in half as well, so these two lengths are the same. And the first part of the question is asking us to work out what O to D is. So, O to D we can write as O to C plus C to D. That's one path that we can take from O to D. O to C, so let's work out what each of these things are now. O to C is just going to be a half of O to A as C cuts it in half, cuts O to A in half. And that will just be a half of A. For C to D, that's the same thing as a half of C to B. To work out what CB is, we can go from C to O and then from O to B. To get C to O, that's just the negative of O to C. So this will be minus a half A. And then O to B is just B. So therefore C to D is then going to be a half of minus a half a plus b. So that's just combining this and this together. And that will then be equal to minus a quarter a plus a half b. So then O to D is a half a, that's what OC was, and C to D is minus a quarter a plus a half b. Simplify, we end up with a quarter a plus a half b. Okay, so for part b. So it says, show that if point E lies on AB, okay, so point E is on AB somewhere, then OE can be written in this form, where k is also a constant. So E is going to be somewhere on this line. And um, we don't know where it is. It can be anywhere along that line. We want to get it in this form. Well, let's have a look at what we have here. Notice how the A that we have there, well, that's just the same as OA. And the B minus A, B minus A is the same thing as AB. So in other words, this is OA plus some scalar multiple of AB, which is consistent with taking a path from O to A and then from A to point E, where A to E is a scalar multiple of AB. So let's write that down. So O to E is O to A plus A to E. So just going back up to the diagram, we can see that here, O to A and then A to E. And A to E is a scalar multiple of the full vector A to B. And then so we can work out what A to B is. I'll put that on the right hand side here. A to B is AO plus OB. AO is minus A, and OB is just B, so this is then just B minus A. So we can then just replace everything with the vectors A and B. So it'd be A plus K times B minus A. That's part B done. For part C, Given that OD produced meets AB at point E, so if we extend the line OD, then it crosses the line AB at point E. So there is point E. And then we're trying to work out what O to E is. Well, we already have one equation for O to E. O to E is equal to this. But we don't know what K is. K is some unknown scalar. If we knew what K was, then we would know what O to E is. When you have a scenario like this, 
how we can work out what the scalar is, is to take some other path from O to E. So another path could be, so what path did we take to begin with? We went from O to A and then from A to E. We can go straight from O to E, equate the two paths. Each one should have its own scalar multiple that is an unknown, and then solve simultaneously for the scalar multiples. So this alternative path for O to E, well, remember we're going to be trying to take this path here. So O to E is just going to be a scalar multiple of O to D. So O to E is a scalar multiple, I'll call it lambda, of O to D. They're scalar multiples of each other because they are parallel, they're in the same direction, as you can see, D is on the line OE. If two vectors are parallel, you can write them as scalar multiples of one another. O to D we worked out earlier, so that's useful. We have O to D is a quarter A plus a half B. So then we can say that another way of writing OE is lambda times all of this. So actually I want to just insert that lambda in there, so it'd be a quarter lambda A plus a half lambda B. This is another way that we can write OE. We've taken a different path to get there. This is the original way. We can equate those two things, they must be equal. So a quarter lambda A plus a half lambda B is equal to, I'm going to multiply this out, so this will be A plus KB minus KA. I'm going to factorize the right hand side for A, or take out A from some of it. So leave the left hand side as is, so quarter lambda A plus a half lambda B. Now these two I'm going to combine together. So factorize out the A and it becomes 1 minus K times A plus KB. And if these two things are equal, the coefficients of A should be the same, and the coefficients of B should also be the same. So that means a quarter lambda is equal to 1 minus k, and also a half lambda is equal to k. So I can replace the k in this equation with a half lambda, and I end up with a quarter lambda is equal to 1 minus a half lambda, Bring the half lambda to the left, we get 3 quarters lambda is equal to 1. Lambda is therefore 4 over 3. So if lambda is 4 over 3, well then we can work out what OE is. O to E is then a quarter times 4 over 3A plus a half times 4 over 3B. And this will be a third of A plus two thirds of B. So part C was asking us to work out what OE was, the vector OE, and we have that now here. And finally, for the last part, so show that A to E to E to B, so the ratio of these two lengths is two to one. Okay, so let's work out the vectors AE and EB, and once we have them, we should find that AE is twice as big as EB. So, to work out AE, well, AE is the same thing as AO plus OE, which is minus OA plus OE. I've picked those two vectors because we know what they are. Minus OA is just minus A. And then OE we worked out to be a third of A plus two thirds B. Simplify. A to E is then minus two thirds A plus two thirds B. Okay, now let's work out what E to B is. 
So e to b is, so where is e? e is over here. So we want to work out e to b. I can work out what e to o is and then go from o to b. So this is e to o plus o to b. e to o is the negative of o to e. So this will then be minus a third a minus two thirds b. So that there is minus oe. Oe is what we have here. Plus ob, which is just b. And simplify this to get minus a third a plus a third b. And we can see, so ae is this, eb is this. We can see from that that a to e is two lots of e to b, and therefore ae to eb is 2 to 1.